Hey YouTube, it's Brooks, and today we are back with the all-new 2024 Lexus TX350. As always, as an employee at Toyota Motor North America, these views are my own and do not reflect those of the company. So the TX, as you all well know, uh, is an all-new model in the Lexus lineup, filling in in the hotly contested three-row luxury crossover segment. Uh, this is a big hole in the Lexus market, uh, where every seat in this TX is truly the best seat, as the tagline says. Uh, please pardon, this one is slightly dirty. I've had it washed several times, but uh, between a, a rain and, and whatnot, uh, have not, it's not perfectly clean right now. Uh, this model in front of you is the luxury equipped um, luxury package model uh, with most of the option boxes checked. Uh, this is the 350, so it's the 2.4 liter turbo four cylinder engine. And this one is front wheel drive, though of course all wheel drive is an option. Uh, moving up in the range above this would be the 500H F Sport, uh, as well as the um, 550H Plus, which is the plug in hybrid electric vehicle. So the TX I've had for about 600 miles here and I've loved driving this vehicle and wanted to give you a tour to uh, show off um, specifically this luxury equipped model. Um, this is uh, equipped in the caviar paint, uh, which is popular across many Lexus products. And this one features the uh, optional 22 inch wheels for the luxury package, which I think look fantastic. So looking at the Monroney, as you can see, this one is the uh, turbo four-cylinder engine made it, or routed through the front wheels. And of course, it has Lexus Safety Systems Plus 3.0 with your average fuel economy down below. Optional features here that you see on the um, luxury grade that I have here, uh, the convenience package, which is the front cross traffic alert, digital key and traffic jam assist. You've got the windshield wiper DI serp. Um, this package would also give you the heated steering wheel on lesser trim models. Those beautiful alloy wheels, like I mentioned, the captain's chairs, as well as the techno technology package, which I will show you in the gauge cluster, which is the 12.3-inch um, uh, uh, multi-information display, surround view camera, advanced park, and digital rear view mirror with heads-up display. So the TX is actually four inches longer than an LX, uh, but four inches shorter than a um, LX, making it the largest Lexus on sale today. It's got the signature Lexus um, blade taillight design with a revised look of the spindle grill up front, more of a uniform spindle um, rather than the formerly pronounced spindle design. Beautiful LED headlights. You can see the front camera there as well as the uh, uh, radar. So we'll go ahead and open it up. This one is the black interior, so I love this black on black look. This luxury model here has got the very nice semi aniline leather seats here with the ultra suede accents. It does have the thigh extender as well as the four way uh, power lumbar support. On the door cards here, we've got the Mark Levinson sound system, as well as automatic windows and power folding mirrors, and of course, digital latch, similar to what we've seen on the uh, RZ, NX, and RX. Looking at the back seat here, like I said, this one is the captain's chairs model. All TXs do have these manual rear sunshades. And you do have your sliding, reclining, and uh, manual fold um, buttons here. These. Um, do power slide to get access to the third row which is super nice this one like i said is captain's chair so we have this uh, removable center console here with these removable cup holders and you can see you can kind of move those around and place them in different parts and this is a nice um ipad or tablets um uh holder right here off to the side and this whole console it's removable. You could just pick it up and slide it out and then uh, put it in the garage if you'd like to have the uh, access to the third row. Heated and ventilated rear seats with tri-zone climate and two USB-C ports. Up above you do have your um, air duct as well as the LED interior illumination and you've got your grab handle. And if I wanted to get into the third row here just to show you that my Six foot one frame fits in the first, second, and third row. 
you'll see that the third row is nicely equipped as well. And that every seat is the best seat. So plenty of room here in the third row. I've got a power recline here, as well as a grab handle to get in and out, and my USB-C port. You can put another one of those cup holders from the second row right here, and you do have a fixed cup holder, as well as iPad storage right here. Great stadium uh, view out to the front, and then super easy to get out as well. Of course, the trunk is power operated. It does have a kick sensor as well, if your arms are full with groceries. What's really nice about the TX is up to seven carry-on suitcases will fit behind the third row that when it is um, when it is up. But of course, if you want to drop the third row, you've got a ton of space. But yeah, plenty of space back here for grocery runs, a couple of uh, overnight bags. I want to drop this rear seat here, though. You'll see just how much space there is in the vehicle. And of course, dropping the second row will only add to that. But nice flat loading floor. Of course, it would be flat with the second row there as well. And you just have tons of space back here. Uh, perfect for your uh, family on the go. Plenty of underfloor storage. You've got your um, spare tire under this holder as well, uh, as well as the um, uh, cargo tonneau cover there and jack for your spare tire. So powering up the TX. You're greeted by that 12.3 inch multi-information display as well as the 14 inch Lexus interface. Go ahead and pop the hood. Under the hood of a Lexus TX350, you'll find the 2.4 liter turbocharged four cylinder engine that you'll also find in the uh, NX and RX. This model is pushing out uh, 275 horsepower and 317 pound feet of torque. Uh, through an eight-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive through this model. And like I said, all-wheel drive is an option um, in mid-20s average fuel economy. This beautiful LED headlights accent really nicely with the interior illumination, which on this luxury model does have customizable um, thematic ambient illumination. A little hard to see here in the daylight, but it does exist. Off to the left here, you've got your fuel door and power trunk release, as well as three-person memory seating. And I've got my um, sanitizer wipes for getting gas. This infrared screen will watch my eyes for driver att attention monitor. And then these touchpad controllers, of course, control your heads up display. That flickering is just a trick of the camera. This center gauge cluster is fully customizable, so I can customize what's in the middle of the gauge cluster here, as well as on both sides. I can shift away around the way this looks, take away the tachometer, enlarge the map, um, you know, add the tachometer off to the left, navigation off to the left or right, change it around however I'd like, which is really nice to see. Again, it's part of the technology package. And of course, a 14 inch Lexus interface. This is very similar to the interface system in all the other new Lexuses, um, really easy to use. And as you can see, it integrates wirelessly with my Apple CarPlay and it would be Android Auto as well. Down below that, you've got three USB-C ports. Um, a button for my advanced park, self parking, as well as the panoramic view monitor, self, or excuse me, 360 degree camera. And you'll see if I put that in drive, I've got a great bird's eye view, um, as well as reverse. Super nice to have. Down below that, I've got a wireless charge pad and a huge underfloor storage, uh, or excuse me, um, under console storage, I guess I should say, with my uh, free scoop at Culver's, as well as a 12 volt power outlet. And again, removable cup holders here as well. So if you wanted to remove all of your cup holders, you could expand this, um, this storage space as well. And I like this little storage tray off to the left here, or excuse me, off to the right, which will fit an iPhone, as well as some more storage back here and a butterfly style opening center console, which is very deep and felt wide, fitting a lot of stuff there. Electronic um, shifter here with manual mode, of course, your auto start, stop on and off, brake hold and traction control. And then you do have your locking glove box as well as a uh, storage bin off to the side there. Up above, you'll see the digital rear view mirror with garage home link. And then you've got your controls for your panoramic um, sunroof. There's the tilt feature off to the left and your interior illumination controls. And you've got your um, sunglasses storage holder there as well. So 
I am super excited to have the TX in the Lexus lineup. I know many, many um, buyers have been wondering where this vehicle is for a very long time, and we are glad to see it finally here on the dealer lots. Um, we'll try to snag you a video of other equipped TXs. Uh, figure out to start with this loaded luxury gas model. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Like I said, I've put a few hundred miles on this one and we'll have it for uh, several thousand more. So feel free to ask me any questions or request any specific videos if there's content you're looking for. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys next time.